Alexander Chambers and I am an account management and sales graduate for an, a company called Atos. So just briefly, I'm going to quickly go over my job role. So as an account management and sales graduate, your main responsibility is a sort of maintaining relationships with existing clients and sort of through that relationship, acquiring new opportunities for the business, um, sort of actively seeking out new business opportunities um, and using sort of like your sales skills, your communication skills um, and also your your presentation skills to sort of win new business successfully. So how I got into Atos was that basically I went to university. So I went to Aston University and studied business and management. For a graduate scheme role, you the key requirement is that you have to have gone to university and you have to have graduated. So I was at university for four years, three of those years was studying and for one of those years I did a year in industry which was a year's placement at a H, um, doing HR for a private healthcare company. Although that was a great experience and I learned so much from it, I kind of left knowing that HR wasn't for me but what I started to then do was look at aspects of the HR role that I thoroughly enjoyed, such as speaking to people, um, the managerial aspect. And I then started to think about jo a job role that was like that and had those characteristics, but was different to HR, a different experience and a new experience that could, you know, be more suited towards me. So as I went into my final year, once I sort of figured that out, I kind of did some research and then came across account management and sales. Um, I then sort of looked up what that was and found that that was something that sounded like I wanted to do and was well suited to me. After that, I started to apply to graduate schemes. And let me tell you, that was such a timing a very timely difficult process it it was honestly so hard I was literally going through assessment center after assessment center application after application and just getting nowhere I think towards January 2021 so that's like halfway through my final year I kind of decided you know what I'm going to sort of shift gears towards the technology industry the IT sort of sector simply because it's a thriving um industry it was an industry that I had no experience in and I seen it as an opportunity and something that would be a huge learning curve would be a huge benefit to me and my career and just something exciting which is basically how I came across Atos so I applied for Atos um did uh, a few tests, the application, the assessment centre and um, managed to get through and get the job as a graduate account management and sales person. Um, so my favourite part of my job at Atos, I'd say, is the the people part, being able to speak to different people, working with different people, speaking to different clients, learn about their business, you know, that type of thing. I would say that's the part that I enjoy the, the most simply because um, I'm a people person. And yeah, I just love engaging with different people and different personalities and learning new things. Um, I would say the advice to my younger self that I would give now if I could go back would basically just be to have confidence in yourself I think a lot of things that held me back if I look you know along my years is that I wasn't confident in myself you know I used to have a lot of self-doubt um, I didn't really want to step out of my comfort zone I didn't want to push myself I used to just be so afraid of failing but I think now that um, I'm a bit older I would say you know failure is probably one of the best things that can happen because in failure you know you learn something new so I think if you have a mindset of trying to view everything as an opportunity instead of as um, an opportunity 
for failure for failure I think there's so much that you can take away from that and there's so much that you can learn so yeah I would say being confident seeing things as an opportunity trying your best and just yeah not being too hard on yourself would be the advice that I give to my younger self um I think the best advice that I've gotten so far through my career is again trying new things I would say the great thing about Atos is that when I started the company culture was absolutely amazing there's a thing that everyone's very much big on you know collaboration working together trying new things and I think there's lo- there's been loads of opportunities for me to do that at Atos which I think is fantastic and I've always kind of been pushed since I've started my graduate scheme to sort of try my best to try my best and just try new things and get stuck in even if it I think that it's something that might not be suited to me or might not be something that I particularly like just to try it and I think that's probably the best advice that I've been given because there's things that maybe I've tried that I've thought hmm yeah that's probably not going to be for me and then when I've tried it I've had a complete different aspect um, of it or if there's things that I've tried that I have thought oh no it's not going to be for me and it hasn't then I've learned something new about myself so I think you know a graduate scheme is all about learning and I think any opportunity you can get to learn take it always I would say when I was younger, um, what I think I wanted, I didn't really have a thing that I wanted to be per se when I was like a child, like when I was younger, younger. But I think when I became a teenager, I kind of decided that maybe I wanted to go, wanted to go into psychology and become a psychologist. But I think when I found business and I studied my A levels and I, you know, learned more about it, I just had such a huge interest for that that the idea of being a psychologist just wasn't something that I wanted to do anymore so I think going from being an account manager to being a psychologist is definitely (laughs) it's definitely like two different kettles of fish but yeah that is me in a nutshell and thank you for listening (laughs)